Okay, Margie with the Asking Spot, and once again, we're working on the green base. The continuing story of a quack who has gone to the dogs. Yeah. All right, so this free curb find is going to get yet another life because, well, if you saw the last time I worked with it, I seriously messed this face up, and I just couldn't leave it. Even when I went to try to fix it, <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely no, 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 no. I have now looked into how to get paint off and it's really not that hard. It's using a razor blade. Um, the tricks though that they mention is that you should use like a dish soap to do, uh, keep it wet. You want it wet and you put it on. I kind of likened it to like how you'd shave your legs, you know, you get the lather on and stuff. Oh, I wonder if shaving cream would work. Um, but anyway, so you want to keep it wet. You also want to make sure you scrape in one direction as not to scratch the glass. And that should do it. I love everything about your plan, except for one thing, you. No, this is, it's tinted glass. It's, well, painted glass, it's not, really the color of the calm down calm ah. down calm down so we're losing the coloring as well as the spray paint not what i hope to achieve to say i'm a little frustrated with this would be well yeah real understand Phew, gonna try some rubbing alcohol, which I know I used some on it when I did the taping because I was worried about the oils and tape residue being in the wrong places. I don't think I remember any paint coming off on the cotton swab. Not sure I checked though. So, here goes. Sure enough. Ay, ay, ay. Move it out of the sun to do the next procedure because, well, basically, if you're gonna do anything with uh, like a paint or a stain or something like that, you should never do it in direct sunlight. But I wanted it out here so you could see exactly how badly I have messed up this face. Um, but the cool thing is, is this mess up has given me an excuse to do a technique that I have sworn I am going to do forever on so many different pieces. Finally, I'm going for it. I'm going to do a little Jackson Pollock on this. It is a copper and I'm going to water it down a bit and try to add more flecks of copper to my face. Here's the final results added purple to it and I really like how it turned out. I like the Jackson Pollock effect. I get it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. My youngest has already informed me that they have no intention of inheriting this. Are they kids? That's why they're called kids. But I'm really glad that I went at it again because I'm much happier with the results. So I hope that's an inspiration for you if you are doing something with a flip and you don't like your results, well, go at it again. Try something else, see if you can't, you know, finally get it to where you are happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. Got bloopers coming up next. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Original paint, the, well, not the original paint. Meh. How to do the consistency on the blue, 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 blue. 
It was a lot cuter before I made this mess. Actually, it looked worse. Well, you can really see what isn't right on it anymore, thanks to me. Um, so, how much did I get on me? And you should see my legs. Well, no, you shouldn't.